Ladies and gentlemen, the ceremony will begin in five minutes. Please be mindful of CDC guidelines and be sure you are following proper social distancing guidelines. Masks are required while on the Cameron campus and please be aware that the ceremony will begin with a ceremonial, ceremonial firing of Big Ollie, our ROTC unit's howitzer, so prepare for a sudden loud noise. A fireworks display will conclude tonight's ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, commencement will begin momentarily. Please prepare yourselves for the ceremonial firing of Big Ollie, our ROTC unit's howitzer, which will start the ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand as the Cameron University Color Guard leads the processional onto the field.
Good evening. On behalf of the employees and students, both present and past, it is my honor to welcome you to Cameron University's 2021 commencement. Today, we celebrate Cameron University's academic tradition and renew our commitment to academic excellence. This year, we have reintroduced Big Ollie as part of Cameron's commencement tradition. Big Ollie, or more precisely, Big Ollie number two, is a 75 millimeter pack howitzer acquired in 1973 and fully restored in 2017 by Juan Alvarado, a cadet in the George D. Keithley Department of Military Science. After the weapon was decommissioned by the United States military, it was converted to fire only blanks and Big Ollie joins a long part of Cameron history. The original Big Ollie, also an M1A1 Pac-75 howitzer, was acquired in 1955 and restored under the direction of Colonel Oliver Ollie Mercer. It is now my pleasure to introduce the Cameron Concert Choir, who have recorded and will lead us in singing the national anthem. Please stand as you are able and address the flag. Oh, say Please be seated. Now that we're seated and at appropriate physical spacing from others, if you are comfortable doing so, you may remove your face covering until the recessional at the conclusion of tonight's ceremony. It is my privilege to serve as Cameron University's president. And one of my great pleasures as president is asking the audience in the stadium and those watching remotely to join me in congratulating the Cameron University class of 2021. I'm joined on the platform this evening by our 2020-2021 student body president, Jose Olivo, our 2020-2021 chair of faculty senate, Dr. Sheila Youngblood, Cameron University alum and tonight's keynote speaker, Lonnie Morrison, and vice president for academic affairs, Ronna Vanderslice. Mr. Morrison, President Olivo, and Dr. Youngblood will receive more detailed introductions shortly. We are also joined tonight by several distinguished representatives of the University of Oklahoma Board of Regents governing the University of Oklahoma, Cameron University, and Rogers State University. 
Regent Anita Holloway, Regent Rick Nagel, and Vice President Chris Purcell, please join me in recognizing our distinguished guests and our platform party. In order to assure safer distancing for all of our graduates who elect to participate tonight, many of our faculty and staff are joining us virtually. For our faculty and staff members who are here tonight, would you please stand as you are able? Graduates and members of the audience, please join me in recognizing our colleagues on the campus. Thank you. Graduates, please look back with me to that very different time before 2021 when you started your education at Cameron. You are not the same individual then as you are today. And four years ago, or however many years ago it was for you, Cameron University was not the same university it is today. Together, we have changed, we have adapted, we have persevered. But for our graduates, for those of you in front of me this evening, you've gone further than that. You've thrived. I am confident that you're going to continue to do so. Well done. As graduates of the class of 2021, you have witnessed changes to our campus physical environment and more than increased furniture spacing, one-way doors and limited access. I hope you have taken advantage of the opening of the art teaching gallery and eSports arena and renovations in Birch Hall. I know several of our graduate students in behavioral sciences present tonight were the very first to put their classroom learning into practice at the Cameron Psychology Clinic by providing supervised counseling services for free to community citizens and their families in need of assistance. Of course, Changes to the virtual student learning environment expanded dramatically during the last year. Thank each of you for your flexibility and adaptability in pursuit of your degrees. Zoom was something that I watched on television after outgrowing Mr. Rogers. And now it is a virtual meeting and learning platform giving rise to curated backgrounds and repeated admonitions of you're on mute. Advising and counseling in person have been supplemented by telehealth, chats, and other virtual forms of wellness checks. Pandemic or not, each of you can recall changes in your life due to your college education. Perhaps you attended that special presentation that reshaped the way you looked at the world, participated in undergraduate or graduate research or work through an internship or practicum that opened your eyes to different career opportunities. Maybe you challenged your mind by learning a new language or studying a subject unique to your past experience. Regardless of your academic and personal path through this institution, I hope you made lifelong friends and formed lasting relationships with Cameron's talented faculty dedicated staff, and your fellow students. I wish to recognize another individual this evening, Ms. Michaela Taylor. Michaela is being awarded a posthumous Bachelor of Science in Psychology degree. She attended Cameron in pursuit of her goal to serve as a child psychologist. Michaela would have graduated with all of you this evening. With us today, we have Michaela's family. In accordance with the policies of the Oklahoma State Regents for Higher Education, a posthumous degree may be presented to recognize the work of a deceased college student. In recognition of Michaela's coursework, we present this posthumous degree to her family. Will the family please come forward to accept Michaela's degree at this time?
Next, I wish to recognize the members of Cameron's chapter of the Honor Society of Phi Kappa Phi. Membership in Phi Kappa Phi is open to students from all disciplines who rank in the upper 10% of this year's graduating class. With the graduates, staff, and faculty who are of Phi Kappa Phi, please stand as you are able and be recognized. Students, you've experienced a change that works its magic from the inside out. The attainment of your college degree has molded your future and opened the door to countless new opportunities. You have made this year into a successful year, a year full of many memorable events at Cameron University, but no event more significant than tonight. Our faculty and staff and your families have spent the past few years watching you grow and develop. Tonight, we are joined together to watch you take the next steps in your life's journey. All of you exemplify the heart of Cameron's mission, changing students' lives through the power of education. Well done. Tonight, we will have three commencement speakers to represent the student, faculty, and alumni experiences in this most unusual year. Our first speaker is Mr. Jose Olivo. Jose currently serves as president of Cameron Student Government Association. He will be graduating tomorrow night with a Bachelor of Arts degree in strategic communication. Service as leader of the Student Government Association has given Jose the opportunity to be the voice for students on our campus. He participates on Cameron Council and is one of our student representatives for university strategic planning. I value his perspectives and his contributions as a campus leader. President Olivo is also a case manager at the C. Carter Crane Center for Empowerment and Advancement, where he works with members of the area homeless population. Jose plans to pursue a license in professional counseling and is enrolled in graduate courses in Cameron's Master of Science in Behavioral Sciences program. In recognition of President Olivo's contributions to Cameron and to our students this year, the Regents for the University of Oklahoma, Cameron University, and Rogers State have created a plaque for me to present to him this evening. Please join me in welcoming, recognizing, and celebrating President Jose Olivo. Get that here out of your way. <laughs> Good evening and welcome. Four years ago, if you had asked me what an Aggie was, I would have told you I had no idea. But then I went to my first sporting event as a camera student. It was a home volleyball match, and it was really exciting to me because I have never watched a volleyball game before. The energy in the student section was incredible. Everybody stood up and cheered the team on, and even I got up and started cheering, and I had no idea what was going on. You could really feel the love in the audience. We were there with the, t uh, with the team the entire time. Unfortunately, we ended up losing that game, but then something weird happened. The entire student section stood up, and put up their pickaxes and chanted our alma mater. And I wasn't expecting this. And this was the first time I saw what an Aggie was. An Aggie is resilient. I learned another lesson a few semesters later. I was in an upper level communication course where the professor would teach the class like a conversation. He'd briefly get up and lecture and then we would have a conversation where he would guide us in expanding on those ideas that we just heard. This allowed us to build on the information he gave us and learn to think for ourselves in an environment where he would encourage everyone to contribute to the conversation. Dr. Christopher Keller taught me and anyone who has had the privilege to be in his class that an Aggie voice matters. This past year has been difficult. We never imagined that our vocabulary would consist of phrases like social distancing, self-quarantining, or oops, I forgot my mask. We never imagined that our, we would have to postpone in Moss 
birthday parties, weddings, anniversaries, or commencements for that matter. We never imagined that we would be spending our last semesters of college attending class from the comfort of our living rooms and our dorm rooms. We did, however, know that those tedious meetings really could have just been an email. And even after all that, we know that when Aggies put their hearts and minds into something, there's nothing in the world, including a global pandemic, that can stop us. And Aggie is determined. On behalf of the class of 2021, I would like to say thank you to the faculty and staff of Cameron University for facilitating our educational growth, to our friends who have been by our side, and to our families who provided us with love and support. Thank you. Thank you, Jose. Our next speaker is 2020-2021 Faculty Senate Chair, Dr. Sheila Youngblood. Dr. Youngblood holds bachelor's, master's, and doctoral degrees in biosystems and agricultural engineering from Oklahoma State University and the University of Kentucky. Her passion is to encourage students of Southwest Oklahoma to pursue higher education through the use of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, STEM, enrichment opportunities. In addition to her excellent work in the classroom with university students in engineering and other subjects, she spends large amounts of time each year in outreach and development for area children. Dr. Youngblood is the co-director of the CU Engineering and Applied Mathematics Summer Academy for high school students, as well as It's Mathy, a middle school enrichment experience. She is a lead organizer and sponsor of the annual CU Empowering Women in Leadership in STEM Conference. She also serves as the president of the CU chapter of Phi Kappa Phi Honor Society. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Sheila Youngblood. Hello, Cameron University, almost graduates. You're not quite there yet. Um, you thought you were done when you passed your last final this week. Hopefully you passed your last final this week. Um, but actually, you still have to make it through tonight and the many speakers that are still to come. Okay, so hold on. I am honored to welcome you, your families, your friends, as together we celebrate your achievement. I promise to keep my words short, and for those of you that have had me in the classroom, you know that's quite a difficult feat. I'm going to do my best. In today's society, a person's academic achievement is often overlooked or possibly underrecognized at a minimum. But not tonight. Graduates, we are all here to celebrate each of you and your tremendous academic success. To earn a college degree is something to be celebrated. Let's spend just a moment on the word earn. To earn is to get something based on the work that you put in. In other words, to work diligently every day toward a goal and to eventually achieve that goal. I often tell my students they will not earn an A without learning the material and they will not learn the material through osmosis, right? You cannot reach your goals that way either. You must instead be intentional and determined to succeed in college, in your chosen profession, and in all that life has to offer you. Let's take just a few moments and reflect on your time at Cameron University. What comes to mind first? Was it the first time you stepped into a cla classroom? Um, maybe the first time you stepped on campus? Was it your first game that you attended? Or maybe the first A that you received in a college class? Or was it the less fortunate non-A that you may have received in a college class, right? Um, how did that experience shape the next one? And then the next one. What are the moments that you will treasure from your experience here at Cameron University? How will you use those moments to guide your future? Who here tonight has ever seen, felt, or been affected by adversity? I would venture to guess there's not a person in the stadium, on the, on the field, or in the stands that, that would answer no to that. Um, you will have challenges in your career, in your life, and sometimes those challenges make it the best of you. But my hope for you is that it's only for a moment. 
With, the, with adversity, there comes two options, either to fall or to rise. My challenge to you tonight is to press on. In other words, to rise. Press on, even when you don't want to, even when you're afraid. When you're overwhelmed in your professional or your personal life going forward, think back to this day, this day that culminates your academic success. This, this is the moment where you can reflect and remember the success knowing you did it, you are capable, and you deserve this. You worked for it, and you earned your degree. Let this memory springboard you into pressing forward to the next moment of success. My second challenge is this. Remember, you did not do this alone, okay? Someone, something, some organization, a professor, a team member poured into you. So please do the same for somebody else. Find a way to impact the lives of those around you. Realize this is a privilege and treasure the opportunities when they arise. Be a game changer for someone or for the someones, just as your parents, high school teacher, college professor, Sunday school teacher, employer, or maybe just your best friend has been for you. In the end, your success is our success. We are proud of you. We look forward to seeing you grow and do great things for yourself, your family, your community, and your state in the future. Congratulations, and remember to press on and pour in. Our final speaker is Cameron alumni Lonnie Morrison. Mr. Morrison arrived at Cameron State Agricultural College in 1960, where he excelled both on the football field and in the classroom. During his tenure at Cameron, he served as class president, ROTC company commander, member of the student senate, and captain of Cameron's 1961 National Junior College Championship football team. After his tenure at Cameron, he went on to become a highly successful attorney. He has been recognized numerous times for his exemplary, exemplary work by the State Bar of Texas and is a fellow of the American College of Trial Lawyers, the International Academy of Trial Lawyers, the Texas Bar Foundation, and the American Bar Association. Mr. Morrison continues to be a strong supporter of Cameron and our students. He has helped establish an endowed scholarship in honor of the Junior Rose Bowl and National Championship football team, and he continues to actively support the university as a member of the Cameron University President's Partners organization. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Lonnie Morrison. This is the night to celebrate a great victory, a victory that you have earned by persistence, dedication, and motivation. And all of us here who are not in the party of graduating members congratulate you, recognize the substantial feat that you have accomplished. I won't take a lot of your time tonight. I've been told time is limited by Dr. MacArthur. When I spoke to my friend, uh, Mr. Mr. Johnson, he said he had heard me speak before and that he thought it was more than a generous amount of time that I wouldn't need that much and I'm sure you'll probably agree when I, uh, when I finish. But Cameron is a place that's special in my heart. When I think of it, I think of the words of John Denver when he said, hey, 
it's good to be back home. For me, it's great to be back home at Cameron. I have fond memories of my time here. There's only a limited number of things that can be said at a program like this, and you have heard the events leading up to this time and tonight, and including what I might say, congratulations, and so forth. And I'd like to, to while I, I completely support and honor that, I'd like to, to move forward and say, where do you go from here and what do you do? And I have a few ideas and suggestions and thoughts that I'd like to, to share with you. Many of those things come from my years in, in the school, in graduate school and law school here at Cameron and in undergraduate school after that. And, and uh, I think as I look back, I have experiences that I hope might be of some benefit to you. One of the things I'd like to speak of is, is uh, only a matter of a few minutes, but Red Grange was one of the very best football players of all time. He had the nickname, and I bet you most of you have heard it, the Galloping Ghost. He was excelled in college football and then also in pro football. In 1961, actually 1962, a Cameron uh, support group here in Lawton got Red Grange to come and speak at our athletic banquet for the team of 1961. And Red Grange said something then that I'll never really forget. He said, you show me a man who quits easily and I'll show you a loser. He challenged all of us in life not to quit easily. If we dedicate our, our goals and our thoughts to something, don't quit easily, continue to follow that. I had that sign on my law office wall for 50 years, and I still have it in my office. And it's important that we never quit easily. There's a lot of things that, that uh, graduation from Cameron will open the doors to, both career-wise and otherwise. But one of the things that I want to stress to you is that don't miss the opportunity to pay back what you've received. You'll never be able to pay it back fully, but you will have an opportunity and you can make an opportunity and don't quit easily to do something significant for Cameron. We had a football reunion about 12, 14 years ago, maybe about 12 years ago, and it was mentioned at that meeting by one of the players, Marcus Wilcoxon, who lives here in Lawton, that we, we should do something for Cameron. They've done an enormous amount for us. Cameron has given us the, a world of opportunity to pursue, and we need to, to find some way to pay it back. Different people think in different dimensions and sizes, and you know there was mention that night of well maybe we could get them a park bench that says you know compliments of the 1961 Cameron team. Somebody else thought, what about a water fountain instead? And you know it just was going nowhere. And someone said, let's uh, appoint a a one-man committee, uh, let Lonnie do it, and come up with a plan of something else that we could consider and then we'll make a decision. And Albert Johnson and I met about Cameron's needs, what, what could be done for Cameron, and ultimately we created 
a endowed scholarship fund. It wasn't in honor of the team. It was by the team as a contribution in honor of Cameron and what it had done for all of us. And we, we uh, went to work trying to uh, mostly by our own membership uh, as opposed to solicitation of others uh, create this endowed fellowship and today we have over a hundred and twenty five thousand dollars in our endowment and I'm not going to quit easily I'm hoping we'll have two hundred thousand dollars in our endowment before we become a much smaller group than we are. There's only 15 of us left out of the 41 that was on that, that uh, team. And we're not going to give up easily. We're going to do something. And, and uh, we're proud of the results and the way the Cameron University Foundation has managed the monies that we have entrusted to them. They've done a wonderful job. And I'm happy to say we have six graduates of Cameron now that have received scholarships from our endowment. And uh, I think two will graduate tonight and tomorrow night, or tomorrow night. And, uh, and we're, we're proud of that result. The people that are seated be beside you, behind you, in front of you, and so forth tonight are some of the best friends you'll ever have. And as you leave Cameron, don't leave those people behind. Stay in touch. Somebody will have to make an effort to keep people in touch. Our team, with junior college, of course, in 1961, too. And we had members of our teams that got scholarships after they left Cameron in Oklahoma, Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, California, Iowa, Colorado, maybe another state or two. It had been easy for us to f fly apart like dust and be separated and gone from each other forever, but we have stayed in touch, and I hope that you and your friends will stay in touch. Uh, doesn't have to be anything formal. Our organization is not. But do keep up with, with uh, your friends that you've had here at Cameron. And whatever you do, pay back to Cameron a portion of the debt that we all have who have had the wonderful opportunities that are available here and that we have had the opportunity to benefit from and don't give up easily. That's the definition of a loser, and you're not. You've uh, accomplished something great tonight. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Thank you, Lonnie. Now, we appreciate the benches and the water fountains, too, to do that. For our graduates tonight, well, I won't be here in 2081, I don't think, but I, I hope that one of you will have the opportunity to stand maybe in a newer stadium with a, a, a different crowd, but I hope you, one of you is going to be back here in 60 years to celebrate and perpetuate the legacy of this institution. Thank you for being here tonight, and congratulations on your work. But before we begin the presentation of degrees, I ask that you remain seated until the end of the ceremony, which will conclude with a spectacular fireworks display. Will the candidates for all degrees please stand as you are able?
President MacArthur, these persons have completed the prescribed requirements and are recommended to receive degrees. On behalf of the Board of Regents for the University of Oklahoma, Cameron University and Rogers State University, and the Oklahoma State Regents for Higher Education, it is my privilege to present degrees to those who have completed these requirements. Will the first row of candidates please proceed to the ramp? The remaining candidates may be seated until your row is called. Richard Steak, Master of Business Administration, Business Administration. Cassandra L. Turner, Master of Science, Organizational Leadership. Tamara K. Williams, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. Rebecca Craig, Master of Science, Educational Leadership. Celeste Joy Ulrich, Master of Education, Education. Christina Lee Gray, Master of Education, Education. Catherine Rose Monahan, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. Alana Michelle Young, Associate in Science, Business, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration. <laughs> Heather Michelle Hazlett, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration. Raylynn Amber Rufo, Associate in Science, Business, 
Bachelor of Accounting, Accounting. Allison McKenzie Delp, Associate in Science, Business, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration. Christy Lee Lutz, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, Cum Laude. Tammy Lynn Tackle, Associate in Science, Business. Lane Nur Solo, Master of Science, Behavioral Sciences. Matilda Marie Thibodat, Master of Science, Behavioral Sciences. <laughs> Alyssa Savina, Associate in Science, Business, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration, Magna Cum Laude. Riley Allen Anderson, Associate in Science, Business, Bachelor of Accounting, Accounting. Maisha Rashawn Adams, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. Carmen Maria Colors, Master of Science, Behavioral Sciences. Yeah, Billy Jane Stratton, Associate in Science, Business, Bachelor of Accounting, Accounting, Magna Cum Laude. Jordi Regale Scoggins, Associate in Science, Business, Bachelor of Accounting, Accounting. Legend M. Durbin, Associate in Science, Business, Bachelor of Accounting, Accounting, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration. Vinicius Rodriguez Dos Santos, Master of Business Administration, Business Administration. <laughs> Jody Paganelli, Associate in Science, Business, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership, Cum Laude. Ashley Renee Urbanski, Mas bat sorry, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Madeline Jade Bacon, Associate in Science, Business, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration.
Sonia Maritza Perry, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership, Cum Laude. <laughs> Shanice Dene Curry, Master of Education, Education. Brenda Ann Weber, Master of Science, Organizational Leadership. <laughs> Kenya Zakia Michaela Hyman, <laughs> Master of Business Administration, Business Administration. Tioni Ebonike Graves Brown, Master of Science, Organizational Leadership. <laughs> Carla Vanessa Alvarado Pittman, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. Shaylin Cheyenne Bowles, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Jedediah Edward Cook, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership, Cum Laude. Cassie Marie Kuswoon, Associate in Science, Business, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration. Oscar Del Granado, Associate in Science, Business, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration. Maicon Santos Diaz, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration. <laughs> Jason Heath Thompson, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Leo Dakota Phillips, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration. Mercedes Elizabeth Terry, Bachelor of Arts, English Education, Magna Cum Laude. Danielle E. Lewis, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education, Summa Cum Laude. Allison Grace Zimmerman, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education. Monica Freitag, Bachelor of Science, Family and Child Studies, Cum Laude. <laughs> Haley Michelle Mahaffey, Bachelor of Science, Psychology.
Michelle Elizabeth Cross, Associate in Science, Business, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration. Tyler Prince Williams, Master of Business Administration, Business Administration. Colin Goss, Master of Science, Behavioral Sciences. Shakaya Star Gilliam, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. <laughs> Ashley Dawn Richmond, Master of Science, Behavioral Sciences. Sharon Kendall Morgan, Master of Business Administration, Business Administration. <laughs> Iona Audrey Roska, Associate in Science, Business, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration, Magna Cum Laude. Deshaun R. Becton, Associate in Arts, Strategic Communication, Associate in Science, Business, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration. Maria Best McCroy, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. Jamie K. Hilton, Bachelor of Accounting, Accounting. Kevin Dwayne Kaufman, Associate in Science, Business, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration, Cum Laude. Norman E. Williams, Master of Science, Educational Leadership. <laughs> Stacy Lynn Nobles, Master of Education, Education. Sandra Lynn Bunker, Master of Science, Educational Leadership. <laughs> Taylor Lynn Hutton, Master of Education, Education. Andrew Nguyen, Associate in Science, Business, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration. Abraham Renteria, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. Taylor 
Dawn Mithlow. Masters of Education, Education. Aubrey Quinn Mythlow. There is no degree listed in the back. Master of Education, Education. <laughs> Taylor Bone, Associate in Science, Business, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration. Kalista Renee Young, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Heather Michaela Wiley, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. Jasmine A. Campus, Bachelor of Accounting, Accounting, Magna Cum Laude. Rosemarie T. Meaner, Associate in Science, Business, Bachelor of Accounting, Accounting, Magna Cum Laude. Jason Lawrence Herbert, Associate in Science, Business, Bachelor of Accounting, Accounting. <laughs> Rachel C. Bender, Associate in Science, Business, Bachelor of Accounting, Accounting, Magna Cum Laude. Brandy Jo Bone, Associate in Science, Business, Bachelor of Accounting, Accounting. Sydney Elise Tillery, Master of Education, Education. Angelica Lynn Mahoney, Master of Education, Education. Robin Rochelle Harris, Master of Science, Educational Leadership. Wendy Brown, Master of Science, Educational Leadership. Charity Williams, Master of Science, Educational Leadership. Alexa Pineda, Associate in Science, Business, Cum Laude. Kimberly Dolores Garcia, Bachelor of Science, Family and Child Studies. Jordan Nicole McKean, Associate in Science, Business, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration. <laughs> Cody Dwayne Aldridge, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration. J. 
Jennifer Ann Prince, Bachelor of Science, oh sorry, Price, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education, Magna Cum Laude. Brooke Lynn Crow, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education. Gracie Ella, Elisa Adams. <clears throat> Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education. Bailey Green Martinez, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education, cum laude. Adrienne Page Mabry, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education. Chloe Page Hively, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Connie Janae Goodwin, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education, Magna Cum Laude. Nicole Faith Potaconi, Associate in Science, Business, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration. <laughs> Bethany Nicole Bowling, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. Jade Madison Stone, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration. Derek J. Bean, Bachelor of Science, Sports and Exercise Science. Heather Renice Bean, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education. <laughs> Crystal Lee Hayes, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education. <laughs> Bailey Cable, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education. <laughs> Kelly Elise Garcia, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education, Cum Laude. Megan Renee Farmer, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education, Cum Laude. <laughs> Carly Blake Gomez, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education. Bethany Cheyenne Bench, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education. <laughs> Tammy L. Williams, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education, Cum Laude.
Zoe Ursula Mullins, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education. Lynn Shelton, Associate in Science, Business, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration. Angela L. Grover Bellows, Bachelor of Science, Family and Child Studies. Caitlin Victoria Green, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education. Amy Rose Watson, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education. Erica Loray Montgomery, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education. Brian Keith Montgomery, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Natasha Leanne Braden, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. Yvonne K. Rodriguez, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. Anthony Hill, Associate in Science, Business, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration. Christopher Allen Sparrow, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. Billy Jean Connolly, Master of Science, Educational Leadership. <laughs> Caroline D. Stevenson, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education. Angelica Herta, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education, Cum Laude. <laughs> Tiffany Michelle Fortune, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education. Honora Glass, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. Monica Shepard, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. Shaylee Chakol Jensen, Bachelor of Science, Family and Child Studies, Cum Laude. Brandon Matthew Harris, Bachelor of Science, Psychology.
Brett Bates, Associate in Science Business. Judy Humphrey, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. <laughs> Samantha Elaine Benet, Bachelor of Arts, English Education. Sierra Elizabeth Pasco, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education, Magna Cum Laude. Alex Brent Cox, Master of Business Administration, Business Administration. Alice, I'm sorry, Addison Jewel Tatum Wortham, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education. <laughs> Hannah White, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education. James Bashaw, Jr., Master of Science, Behavioral Sciences. <laughs> Candace Page Lee, Master of Business Administration, Business Administration. Chase Lucy, Master of Business Administration, Business Administration. James Ernest Nunley, Jr., Master of Science, Organizational Leadership. Latoya Carletta Merling, Associate in Science Business, Bachelor of Accounting, Accounting. <laughs> Jaquela Lynn Whitney, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. Kirby Nicole Sanders, Bachelor of Science, Family and Child Studies. Linda L. Williams, Master of Science, Behavioral Sciences. Kevin Scott Duran, Master of Science, Behavioral Sciences. <laughs> Shannon Leah Gallagher, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration. LaShonda Simmons, Master of Science, Behavioral Sciences. <laughs> Bethany Nicole Davis, Master of Science, Behavioral Sciences. Tiffany Gale Nicole Esco, 
Master of Science, Behavioral Sciences. Ashley D. Williams, Master of Science, Behavioral Sciences. <laughs> Jessica Michelle Smith, Master of Science, Behavioral Sciences. Samantha Chapman, Master of Science, Behavioral Sciences. Tamara Drew, Master of Science, Behavioral Sciences. Kelsey Darlene Lewis, Master of Science, Behavioral Sciences. Dominic Bruce Haber, Master of Science, Behavioral Sciences. Haley Renee Ransom, Master of Science, Behavioral Sciences. Kimberly Young White, Master of Science, Behavioral Sciences. Chad Edwin Erickson, Master of Education, Education in Reading. Katie Ann Langston, Master of Education, Education in Reading. Adolfo Garcia, Associate in Science, Business, Bachelor of Accounting, Accounting. Sabrina Lechuga Fisher, Bachelor of Science, Family and Child Studies. Erica Camaro, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. Alexis Destiny Vasquez, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. Kaylee Allison Franz, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. Virginia Lee Quarles, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. Christina Good, Associate in Science, Business, Bachelor of Accounting, Accounting. Kinsey Michelle Garrison, Master of Science, Behavioral Sciences. Rachel M. Carlson, Master of Science, Behavioral Sciences. (laughs) 
Bruce E. McDaniel, Jr., Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration. Jean Coker, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. Brandy Halley, Master of Education, Education. Timothy Lance Martin, Sr., Master of Science, Behavioral Sciences. <laughs> Dean Thompson, Master of Science, Behavioral Sciences. Jennifer Ann Martinez, Master of Science, Behavioral Sciences. <laughs> Giselle Nieto, Bachelor of Science, Family and Child Studies. Jacqueline Nicole Pula, Associate in Science, Business. Victoria Murray Hensley, Bachelor of Science, Family and Child Studies. Rika A. Tasso Thompson, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, Cum Laude. Thomas Michael Green, Associate in Science, Business, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration. Terry Lynn Trevino, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. Kristen Nicole Bingham, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education. Kelsey Carolyn Archer, Master of Science, Educational Leadership. <laughs> Margaret Plouffe, Master of Science, Educational Leadership. Master of Science, Educational Leadership. Madison Nicole Marshall, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, Cum Laude. Stacy Lynn Pfeiffer, Master of Science, Organizational Leadership. <laughs> Tierra Daisy May Tubbs, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration.
Katie Llewellyn Kennedy, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Mariana Sabados, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Catherine Elizabeth Smith, Master of Education, Education. <laughs> Heather Renee Snow, Bachelor of Accounting, Accounting, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration. Emily Beth Wilkinson, Bachelor of Science, Family and Child Studies. Mary Irene Walker, Associate in Science, Business. Melanie Elise Gabrielle Fui Fui, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Christy Marie Owen, Master of Education, Education. Rachel Artel Ritas, Master of Business Administration, Business Administration. Sharina Danielle Owens, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. Catherine Elizabeth Madigan, Associate in Science, Business, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration, Cum Laude. <laughs> Hannah Alifair Roman, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. Chad Ryan Hobbs, Master of Science, Behavioral Sciences. Curry Lamar Coleman, Master of Education, Education. Corey Darnell Puckett, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Lindsay K. Maynard, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. Larry James Bassett, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Maxwell Obena Iziuku, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Chidema Iziuku, Master of Science, Behavioral Sciences. <laughs> 
Samuel Furman Smith, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Christopher Matthew Franz, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. Courtney K. Schaefer, Master of Education, Education and Reading. Shania E. Scruggs, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. <laughs> Lisbeth Ann Landall, Master of Science, Behavioral Sciences. Deanna Rasco Norman, Bachelor of Science, Ed Organizational Leadership. Karen Ann Bailey, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration. Derek Douglas Cook, Master of Science, Organizational Leadership. And now, as tradition prescribes, our final graduate is O. Kim. It is said that the spirit of O. Kim walks our campus each day. He never misses a class, graduates each year, and returns in the fall with each new student. He has helped build each building, coach every team, cheer with every fan, and cram for every final. Tonight, he once again graduates from Cameron University with a class of 2021. Please join me in another round of applause for tonight's graduates. Tonight we celebrate our graduates' hard work and accomplishments, and it has been my pleasure to share this evening with each of you. Before we conclude, Allow me to leave you with one final thought. As you face future challenges, recall your time at Cameron University. Recall your commitment to your education and the feelings of tonight, the feelings of accomplishment and satisfaction that come when you persevere and achieve. Learn from that memory and be encouraged by that memory because life's challenges are certain. A university is so much more than the buildings and events. We are largely known by the quality and accomplishments of our graduates. We are pleased that you are joining this impressive list of alumni and hope you will choose to become involved in the Cameron University Alumni Association. I look forward to your future and I take pride that Cameron is part of your past. Please join the Cameron Concert Choir as they lead us in singing Cameron Pride. You may find the lyrics on page seven of your commencement program. Please stand as you are able for the singing of our alma mater. <laughs>
please be seated and enjoy the conclusion of tonight's commencement ceremony, a spectacular fireworks display. Following the display, there will not be a formal recessional. Please allow a few minutes for the stadium lights to resume operation before you make your way to the exits. Please travel safely this evening, and we wish you continued care and good health. Thank you for joining us tonight.
Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us this evening for our celebration of the class of 2021. Please take care as you leave the stadium.